Happy New Year's, everyone. Welcome to the first episode of 2021. My thing this year is I'm gonna try and produce a lot more videos. The car is almost complete. You guys probably already see what's in my hands. Yesterday, to end 2020, we got the Mugen Type R wing, right? Uh, I don't think this tells you what kind of wing it is, but if you come closer, I'll show you what we have. I didn't go for the FRP wing. I went for the big shebang carbon fiber. This thing weighs, oh, I forgot to bring a scale out, but we'll stop in a little bit and we can weigh everything compared to the, the OEM wing. But this is just a piece of beautiful art. Look at this thing. Gorgeous all around. Um, I believe this is the second one that's in the North America. As everyone knows, USA-028 up in New Jersey. He was the first one to get his ship to North America, I believe. Um, but yeah, this is, this is just amazing. Uh, yesterday talking to good friends, none of this would have been possible. Growing up in the 90s, none of these pieces would have been bought or I never even would have dreamt of owning any of these pieces, let alone a Civic Type R. We made fun. The only way we were able to purchase any Mugen pieces or Spoon pieces, anything, HKS, anything, was in Gran Turismo. Shout out to Gran Turismo. If you came up on that game, you're a real OG. And I'm talking about Gran Turismo 5, I'm talking about Gran Turismo 1 or 2. Um, to get more pieces, you got this, this is not, clear coated because this is not visible, but this is just pure carbon. The, everything made on the wing is 100% pure carbon, of course, except for the uh, hardware. But this right here, this is what covers, you'll see in the installation, as we start the installation process, you'll see that this is what covers all this, so you don't even see any hardware, it's nice and clean. Now, for anybody that has already done their tail lights, the Mugen tail lights, or you've done the, any type of tail lights, you know that you have to remove these pieces right here, right? On the door handle, on the trunk handle. It's kind of hard probably to see because of the lighting. Um, I do have a light, so possibly I can show you. So if you see these lights right here, or this handle right here, it's loose because once you pop it out, it's gonna always be loose like this. I mean, that's how it felt for me and many others. But what I love about Mugen is they give you replacement OEM parts. I don't know if any other manufacturer does this, but this is what happens when you deal with manufacturers that specifically deal with Honda parts. Spoon Mugen, hence why I decided to go with the big shebang and put just those two pieces on my car, uh, HKS, you're, you'll be next. Um, so for the installation process to start it off, oh, let's just keep going right now. I'm getting ahead of myself, you know what I mean? So you saw the side of the wing. Now it's time to show you, and don't mind, I was supposed to do a, a complete unboxing, but sorry, I'm impatient. This is for me. Uh, but look at this, this thing weighs about, whew, I don't even know. I'm going to guess like 20 to 30 grams. If that, I'm probably just, I'm tripping probably, but it is what it is. It's very light, light as a feather. I mean, look at this. I can hold it. A baby can hold this damn thing, right? So this is beautiful carbon perfection at its finest. But yes, this is what we'll be installing today finally. I try looking on YouTube to see if there's any videos of removing and replacing a wing and there's only like one. So luckily today we'll go over what needs to happen to remove your stock wing and put on a Mugen wing or another wing, whatever is your choice. Um, so first off, you, what tools you're gonna need? Of course, a ratchet wrench with a size 10. We're dealing with Honda, so 10, 12, 14, you guys know the deal. But this right now, so far, we're gonna be dealing with a size 10. Um, a plastic pull tool. That way you're not using freaking metal screwdrivers, you're gonna chip your paint. 
uh, measuring tape because you have to, you'll see, we have to plug, I think, a hole. And Mulligan sends us uh, a plug right here. You have to measure 30, to 30 millimeters. So I'll just measure 30 millimeters, cut, put it on. Um, it, does, it does come with the Mugen stickers, as you see. We have to put those on later, or last. So getting right into it, you know, by now you guys know that I'm fully fluent in uh, Mugen instructions. So what it's telling you is, yeah, it's for a Civic Type R, FKA, right? These are all the pieces, inventory. You know, there you go, you got it. And just by looking, you know, illustration guys, removing those two pieces and removing the back left piece and the back right piece, right? That gives you access. That'll give us access to the bolts that are right here, right? Make sense? So we'll get right on that. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and take off what I remember an excuse i'm sweating because i just washed the car uh i figured there's no point in putting a brand new wing on a dirty honda and then having to freaking wash the car right so wash the car first and also for video reasons let me take off this piece yeah these things wear very easily Go to the next one. Really tight. Boom. That was a little easier. And then I believe we have to pop these off. Right? The little handles. The little tab. Right? Don't mind that little popping because we have to take off these, this, that way we can get to this. But in order to get to this piece, I believe you just take off these first. Trust me, I'm not as nervous as anybody else. I'm doing, that's the last thing I want to do is mess up my baby. We can marry it up. All right, then we gotta take this off. All right, so. Should be getting the next piece, which is the hood. Ordered everything on December 24th for the King Motorsports, as you guys know. Got everything through King Motorsports. So, give a shout out to King Motorsports and Scott Zellner. He's taking care of me very well. I've taken care of them very well. Um, but yeah, if you guys have not already known, King Motorsports is the only authorized distributor of moving parts in North America. You can get your stuff straight from Japan. I don't know the Japanese market that well like that. You can save yourself a few bucks in shipping probably. Okay. So that's that. On everything. Let me make sure I don't need to take this cap off. Yep. These Hondas, they have so many hidden clips. Okay, then, if you look closely, you have one bolt, two bolt, but I need to make sure that that is for our wing. Yeah, that's for our wing. I'm gonna loosen these up. I'm just gonna leave it like that until I lower the 
uh, until I lower the hatch and then go from there. All right, you guys got the gist of this. We're gonna take off these two bolts. You could already see the wing is completely loose. Once I have the wing off, we'll get right back on it. I'll show you with the wing off. I need to borrow my camera girl. Uh, okay, so now, like I told you guys, we have the wing off. What you wanna do is you wanna have somebody hold the wing down and then just slide your arms inside the trunk and just loosen up the rest of the bolts. But one thing that you can see is contamination, right? It's typical, it's not gonna be perfect. I'm glad I took off the wing now, I could clean the car a little thorough. Now in the instructions, I have to tape over this. That's what that one tape is for the 30 millimeter that I have to cut. They want me to put a tape over this and then we're gonna put a washer, a foam washer over here. But first, I'm gonna take some good power clean and wash this down. I get worried sometimes because when I see orange stuff, I think of corrosion, I think of rust, right? All right, next step of the instructions, right? This is where I tell you, I think it's telling us to remove this and then plug it. So let's see if we can. That's how you do it, I guess. I pushed it from the bottom. So stick your finger in this hole, All right? And just pry it from there. Bada bing, bada boom. Right, so we take these things off. Let's just drop something. It's probably in the trunk. Right, we take those things off. And then we take this 3M tape, right? And this 3M tape is gonna go right over that. Make sense? Here, good thing we washed it. I'll do just that, All right? Then I'm gonna take me another piece. Here, I'll do the same. Boom. Okay, so last that we did was we taped this thing over, right? I do wanna like try and get rid of this stuff, but I don't wanna mess with it too much. I'd rather just leave it, because the more you look at things, the more you find imperfection. All right, next step. Go back to the handy dandy instruction book. So we did that step, check. We did this. Now we're gonna put the two circles on those holes, right? Bing, bada boom. Something like that, right? Come to the other side. Knock out this side. It's been a relatively, so far, easy. I think the hardest part was still taking off those plastic trim pieces, right? And we wanna come here. Boom. Right. Just another step of added protection. Cool. Boom, that's done. Now I already know the next step is gonna be to put these things on. Yep, so it's gonna go like this. 
of it being better boom. Just like that. So shout out to USA028. He gave me a little message to say, or he originally, if everyone knows, he originally had all the Mugen pieces on his block CBP type R. Um, and then he just got the limited edition. And so he had to transfer everything over. But he said that these bolts are made to be put on just once. You can hit, uh, I mean, you can see they have the Loctite on there. But right here, we're just gonna slide the, the bolts down. Slide this bolt down. All right, get the other piece ready. Slide this bolt down and slide this bolt down. Just double check. Yes, it does tell you that there shouldn't be a washer. Yeah, I don't see a washer stack. It just says A and D. There's no washer or anything. So that's that. Then I'm just gonna tighten them up, hand tight. Right now we have the bolts in for the for what the main pieces of the wing right here bang bang now i need to find me a size 10 wrench it now but I want to make sure it's nice and nice and sturdy okay let's go to the other side uh, a lot of people can be using you could use an impact gun or whatever but now these parts are so delicate or so expensive that if you mess it up one time that's it have fun trying to get replacement parts Thank you. Oh. So next we did this, put A and B together. That's the sandwich that we have. All right. Next is gonna be to mount the side carbon pieces in to the mount. Look. And of course. Okay, right here. C D E F. So, I don't know if you do this thing. Okay, yeah, you gotta be careful because this washer is bigger than that one, right? So this one is Echo and this one is Delta. See the size difference? Okay, so. C and D get married together. So C and small one get married together. All right. C and D, so C and D not get married together and then big washer and nut marry it. One more tool that I noticed that we need, An Allen keys. So let me go ahead and, okay. I don't know what size this is, but just get yourself a whole Allen tool set and you should be set. Okay, so before I tighten up any of those, let's go ahead and Remember, screw with little one. Nut with big washer. Just 
should be a size 10. Now we're just gonna go ahead and tighten. side done. Okay. 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 This one has a very thin, there's hardly any gap right here. And if you pay attention to that one, I left a gap. So this one I'm going to have to loosen. push down on it, because if not, I doubt that it's going to line up. Yep, now it's nice and flush with the car. Oh. It's going to look insane. It's going to look insane, ladies and gentlemen. Boy. All right. I want to say that these are just shipping bolts that they give it to you with that way the threads and everything are nice and clean by the time you get them there's no need for these all right guys hey real quick i know i messed up if you guys follow me on instagram or any of that you know that uh i originally had this piece on backwards it took i flipped this thing like three or four times so um Whenever, the whole installation, I did everything good, uh, except for when it came to this piece, I, you have to flip it over. So, fat end, it does have the scoop on top, fat end on the front, skinny end on the rear. Sorry guys, I'm a helicopter guy, not a, not a fixed wing. But, yeah, that's, that's it, and then this is the final. This is what it looks like. She looks so good. Right now, the lighting is getting to me, so, I'll have to do another video, but this is what she looks like, guys. She's beautiful. So yeah, uh, stay tuned. We'll do a full walk around. Um, I figure I'll just wait until I get the hood next week, and I'll do a full walk around. But today, I just I decided to go take some pictures. And just to recap, sorry, I didn't get to weigh it as well, but... Uh, yeah, this thing is completely light. I mean, I'll go on King Motorsports or Mugen's website and see the final weight and post it, you know, down here somewhere or something. Um, but yeah, pure carbon. The weave is perfect. I did not stick this thing on completely because if when the guy does, needs to do the PPF, he can take this piece and PPF this piece and then PPF this piece separately. But yeah, you could just take that piece off. It comes off with this fourth bolt right there you can see it right there so yeah boom this fourth bolt holds in this plastic piece and then there's tape all the way around but I haven't taped it yet so yeah freaking awesome love it this is what she looks like I'll post some pictures all right once again thanks a lot guys for watching 